The six gig hopes, dreams, unicorn tears, and all that other sort of stuff. Rainbows and unicorns. You know, that's we we talked about this in previous shows. Like, hey guys. Uh, this is definitely coming, and it's going to be great when it does, but, you know, there's still a lot of time between here and then. You can you can do a, a 5 gig solution and kind of upgrade to 6 gig if you need it. I mean, quite frankly, you know, 6 gig isn't necessarily the answer. I mean, if 5 gig works, it works. You're delivering what you need. 6 gig doesn't, it doesn't necessarily get you more speed, right? I mean, yes, it is AX. It's a higher modulation rate, but in most cases people are not going to use that higher modulation rate because the distances are going to be much shorter, right? So I think when 6 gigahertz comes out or AX comes out, I mean, most people will be stuck at 256 or 1024 qualm anyway. 5 gig does that now, right? You, you, don't, you don't need that stuff. Uh, you know, most people are running 40 megahertz channels. I think the presim data shows that 20 megahertz is still pretty much a very common thing. So you can double your speeds by going to 40 megahertz and you could quadruple your speeds by going to 80 megahertz now, right? So um, if you have, uh, you know, uh, growth needs, you can do it. If you can't run a 40 or an 80 now in 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 5 gig, you're not going to do it necessarily in 6 either because, I mean, we've seen some of the preliminary 6 gig spectrum and it's it's not as clean as, you know, people think it's all virgin ground. It's, I mean, people are destroying it already, you know, with uh, their testing licenses and stuff like that. So, I mean, yeah. yeah. Or, it's, or it's green and clear for a minute. Yeah, and yeah. And like, exactly. you know, a month down the road is going to get thrashed out too. Exactly. You know, there's a lot of people right now that we deal with that are doing that sort of thing. They're like, look, we've got these existing networks. Even if they're not doing a lot of greenfield stuff now, there are opportunities to go through and refresh and update some of your existing networks, right? So, you know, all those sector networks and rural areas that were built out five, ten years ago, you know, you can upgrade the radios, you can upgrade the horns, add a few more APs for capacity. I mean, that's working really well for a lot of folks.